Hello and welcome. Please pause the video, read the problem, and try it on your own. Let's start by reading this together. Um, it says Miriam and Jessica are growing bacteria in a laboratory. So that's a, that's a giveaway right away that we're dealing with an exponential function because bacteria usually, I guess from my limited experience, grow in some kind of exponential way. Uh, Miriam uses the growth function f of t. So it's a function based on t equals n to the 2t power. So that's some kind of exponential function. And then Jessica uses a different function. She uses g of t, oops, or x, g of t equals n to the 4t. Where n, okay, so they're telling us what n is here, this is a key, represents the initial number of bacteria, and t is the time. So n is the starting bacteria amount, and t is the time. Um, if Miriam starts with 16 bacteria, so now we know something that in this case, Miriam is dealing with a very specific version of the function where f of t equals 16 because 16 or n is the starting point to the 2t power. So we know Miriam is using this function. How many bacteria does Jessica start with to achieve the same growth over time? So the question is asking basically what n value should um, Jessica use so that these two things actually grow at the same rate. So first of all, even if you're not sure what, what, what this question is asking, we can eliminate choice two because, think about it, there's no way, right, if this is 16, if we, let's just write it out so you can see what it looks like. If g of t equals 16 to the 4t, notice, how could 16 to the 4t equal 16 to the 2t, right? When would this happen? This would only happen when t was zero because then you get 16 to the four times zero, Right? That's just 16 to the 0, which is 1. And that would equal 16 to the 0 here as well, which is 1 as well. But other than that, you would get different values. If t is 1, imagine t is 1 for a second. Instead of 16 to the 0, you would get 16 squared. And then over here, you would get 16 to the 4th. So how, 16 to the 4th cannot equal 16 squared. So any value other than 0, these two values will never be the same. But, but so, so what am I showing you? Well, I'm showing you that we can eliminate 16 for n. That's not a possibility. Furthermore, we can just reason something out kind of quickly. So this is not going to work. Cross this out. If 16 can't be n, what should we do? Well, notice this exponent is twice, 4t is twice as large as 2t. So in order to get the same growth, think about this, does n have to be smaller or larger than 16? If n is being raised to a larger power, right, than um, 16 is, if n is being raised to a larger power, that means it grows at a faster rate. So in order for them to be equal, n has to be less than 16. It's a big observation. So if n is smaller than 16, it could still reach the same value because the power is more. So we can eliminate 32. And if I haven't convinced you there, let me show you what I mean. So let's just say for a second that g of t, I'll use green again. Like what would happen if, if g of t was 32 to the 4t power, right? And f of t was 16 to the 2t power. These can't, right, this is not going to work out again unless t is 0. If t is 1, what would we get? We'd get 32 to the 4 times 1 or fourth power. But here we would get 16 to the 2 times 1 or 16 squared. Notice that because 32 is larger and it has a larger power, it's way bigger than 16 squared. So in order for these things to balance, this number has to be smaller than 16. So a quick way of thinking about it is if you've doubled the exponent, you should square root the n value, and the answer is 4. But that might not help you. Let me show you what I mean. If g of t equals 8 to the 4t and f of t, what did I write 8, sorry, should be 4 to the 4t. The square root of 16 is 4. Oh boy. Oops, I need green. So it's 4 to the 4t versus f of t, which is 16 to the 2t. Now, at first glance, you might not be able to see how these things are equal, but Play with it a little bit. Try different t values. So what is g of 1 equal? 
That equals 4 to the 4 times 1. Oops, I can't get my 4 to work here. Which is just 4 to the 4th. And here, notice I'm not even figuring out what that is exactly. I just want to play with these numbers for a little bit. We want to know what is f of 1. Well, f of 1, right when t is 1, is 16 to the 2 times 1, which is 16 squared. Are these things equal? Well, how can we figure it out? We can plug into a calculator, but it's so much more fun to play with these things. Here's what I mean. 4 to the 4th is just 4 4 is multiplied. And 16 squared is just 16 times 16. And maybe now you see something. Isn't 4 times 4 16? Right? Don't those match? Couldn't we write g of t as 16 times 16 as well to see if these things are equal? Right? And there we have it. These are exactly the same. We could have written 16 times 16 as 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 to also match it. Either way, we know these things are now going to be equal. And you can plug in other values of t. So to retrace our steps, right, this question is kind of scary at first. Um, we started off by, by, by writing things out, writing them next to each other, and trying different values to see what's going to work. And in general, you know, if you're, if you're doubling your power, you should be square rooting your base. If you're tripling your power, you should be cube rooting your base to get these things to be equal and balance out. This still has a nice pattern between rooting and powering that keeps these things equivalent. And if that's not working for you, just try different values for n, right? And confirm your hypothesis by experimenting. Plug in values of t to see that these things are in fact equal. Thanks.